Action! It's Christmas time in the city and we are headed back home. We're off work today early so I figured I'd drop in here for a stream see if anyone pops in. And uh, everything's good man. Had a good day yesterday. Got a little amped up about the trolls but we got some good news today and maybe I'll break it in a minute if you just hold on. We'll just see if anyone pops into the chat do some general uh, general talk and now until anyone gets in here but yeah we got we got Moog with some I got some theories about Moog all the British boys call it Moog so I got some theories about Moogie Moogie Moog and what they got coming down the pipe because if we go back and we look at look at the trademarks they got listed under in music and Moog then we can see that they got the Moog Labyrinth listed, and I think it's been listed since 2019. And uh, let's put this baby in cruise control, cruising altitude, 30,000 feet. There we go. Yeah, so we got we got the Moog Labyrinth is, from all rumblings I'm hearing, I don't know, this thing's gonna be pretty awesome. And as the name suggests, it's going to be a labyrinth, so it's going to be semi-modular, kind of just like the the Mother 32, the Moog Subharmonicon, and the DFAM. Now, the only question is, how are they going to actually up the ante on the Moog Labyrinth? The Moog Labyrinth. What's up, Dark Side of Synth? How's it going, brother? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to that synth car. It's probably maybe the last synth car we'll get to do before Christmas. Just talking about Moog Labyrinth. I got uh, I got some news that I got I got confirmed today. I can let release. So what better what better way place to do it than in the synth car with uh, all my favorite people, you know? So the Moog Labyrinth we were just saying is semi-modular. That's good, man. It's semi-modular and uh, <clears throat> looks like it's going to be coming out in the mother the mother 32 form factor. So. You gotta ask yourself, are they gonna release the Moog Labyrinth? They're not gonna make it the same. You know, what are they gonna do? Rumor has it, this is a rumor, so it's not confirmed, but comes from a good source. Rumor has it that the Moog Labyrinth is going to be the Mother 32, the DFAM, and the Subharmonicon all in the same box size as the Mother 32. I think that's exciting. Question is, what's the price point? I guess they're probably gonna sell it for $1,000, you know? You think $1,000, but after they said they can't do their their Moog, uh, their Moog Asian factory, I don't know, maybe it'll be $1,200. What's what's the Subharmonicon and the DFAM and the Mother 33? I'm hearing rumors it's three in one. I'm hearing rumors they're doing three in one. The DFAM, the Subharmonicon, and the Mother 32 in one. So, I mean, that would be amazing. But that means it's going to have to be how many voices it's going to be. Are they going to do eight voice? An eight voice semi-modular desktop module? That, that's exciting. They would have to have a separate sequencer, maybe. I guess, no, they could just run the same sequencer and have the DFAM. If they had eight voices, they could do four voices. So what's what's the total? The Mother 32 is one voice, right? Or two voice? Let me know in the chat. Anyway, so you'd probably need four to six voices, four to eight voices, let's say, in order for that thing to really scream. So, the Labyrinth semi-modular, that means would they be getting rid of their Moog Sound Studio? Or are they trying to say we're going to throw it all in one, in one box here? Uh, kicking the nitros. Yeah, they're gonna throw it all in one box. Cause guess what? If they can get a product out from Moog, we know they're bringing their poly, their polyphonic eight voice. That's coming too. March, I think I heard March maybe. March the eight voice polyphonic. I think from my research, it's gonna be called the Moog Mirror. That's from my research. Maybe they're abandoning that name because Samurai scooped them. But rumors are it's gonna be the Mirror, and the other one they got in the works is the Moog Labyrinth. You guys can go check this out. Go log into trademarks for uh, Moog and In Music, and you see the ones they've got updated. All the names, their synthesizers. 
because they got to trademark the names. So go back and keep an eye for upcoming name releases. But as far as I know, they got the Moog Labyrinth. They've been working on it. It's going to be in a Mother 32 case. And it is potentially going to be the whole Moog Sound Studio in one desktop module. So you'll get the DFAM, you'll get the Mother 32, and you'll get the uh, Subharmonicon all in one case. That's crazy. For a thousand bucks. You know what I mean? That's a good deal. Now, the, the Polyphonic Moog Mirror, that's coming in at, I think they said between five, looks like five and seven now or something i think it's gone up i think they were i think they were trying to release the moog mirror eight voice polyphonic for under five is what i heard from my sources but due to the manufacturing issues with uh what's the ceo's name jack o'donnell or john o'connell or jack o'connell or john o'donnell which one is it whatever his name keep he's having he's not very happy with the taiwanese manufacturing setup so he's pulling the plug on that apparently and the parts are still going to be made over there but i don't think they're very they caught a vibe that they shouldn't manufacture it over there and that vibe means that they probably would have ran into some heavy quality control release uh issues on their inaugural in music release of the moog mirror and the labyrinth right so what they're trying to do is if you can wrap your head around it business wise they're trying to satisfy their old customers, right? Which are the big fanboys, the boys with the big, the big buckaroos, or the cats that like to take out loans to buy synthesizers. They're trying to satisfy their old school fanboys with a huge release that's basically a Moog Voyager slash Moog One. For they, they wanted to do it under five, but it looks like it's going to be between five and eight, I think. But it's going to be under ten. For one want is quality control issues with the their first release and that goes the same for their moog labyrinth the question is are they going to but the okay back to what i was saying the deal with the moog labyrinth is they want to release the semi-modular mother 32 size moog labyrinth the three and one to appease not appease but to bring in the new customer base you know so the new customer base doesn't want to pay for three desktop module prices so they're gonna they're probably gonna hit it right in the middle so instead of buying three you'll get it for the price of two but it'll have three of the basically let's say three of the engines under the hood it'll have the subharmonicon the dfam and the mother 32 all under the hood of one synthesizer but for the same price as two modules does that make sense so they're dropping it from three to two um gonna have the patch bay and everything probably a bigger pat i don't know can they go bigger patch bay maybe they won't go bigger patch bay i don't know and who knows maybe they'll drop yeah they got to broaden the customer base so the best way to broaden the customer base is because a lot of the new people and people who don't got that big cheese like all the uh the moog boys they'll probably drop um easily twelve hundred thousand eight let's say eight hundred eight hundred bucks they drop for Let's say if they can put it out for under a thousand, that'll bring in a new customer base. Even though that's still expensive, the Moog name still carries a ton of weight, right? So they'll bring they'll bring in new customers for that for sure. Um, as far as the Polyphonic Eight Voice Moog Mirror, or like I said, if they come up with a new name because I scooped them, uh, if they come up with if they release that for five to eight grand, who's going to buy that? I guess a few people will buy it, but. They can't risk having that made in Taiwan and having an... Can you imagine if Moog's inaugural synthesizer release, the Moog Mirror 8 voice and the Moog Labyrinth, the uh, semi-modular, can you imagine if those two synthesizers had the same quality control issues off the bat as Teenage Engineering? So I think Teenage Engineering's rollout of the EP spooked them. A Moog for under $1,000 is tempting. Like, the other thing is a Moog... Uh, grandmother is under a thousand but something about that it just I don't know why the Mo grandmother and the matriarch didn't really I feel like they didn't kick off I feel like the grandmother and do you want to know my honest opinion oh we got a Grinch on a motorbike sweet you might see him go by her. but uh I think the reason they didn't kick off man and you guys might disagree let me know in the comments is those two are crappy names man the Mo and I love my grandmother 
and she is the matriarch of the family but i just think for a synthesizer you just blew it on the name you named it the moog grandmother because i remember when i first saw the moog grandmother come out i remember i looked at the colors and i was like interesting and weird but okay it's eye-catching and then when i was like mo grandmother i couldn't figure out why they called it the grandmother i couldn't figure out why and then the matriarch came and i was like matriarch and then i was like oh mother 32. i was like why are they doing these names like to me personally it's just a personal opinion um i don't like those names i like i like names that are i like the spacey names like jupiter neptune i like things like poly brute I like, uh, I like Wave State, I like Op 6, I like names like that. Grandmother? I don't know, man, I just couldn't, I couldn't really get it, and I bet you a lot of people, subconsciously, didn't even go for the Mo Grandmother, because like I said, that's under $1,000. I don't think they went for it for the reason that the name sucks. Let's be honest. And I had some people who I've been talking to told me that uh, head of marketing at Moog uh, chose those names and chose them for a very specific reason well I'm not going to get into but I'm sure you you super cats can figure it out she she chose those names for a very particular reason and I think it hurt the marketing like the critical drinker says they got to spread the DA message hence the names I know exactly so that's cool. I got some other, uh, you know, I got some other stuff coming down the pipe here. I got the Behringer Wasps showed up today. We're going to, I'm getting home now. I'm going to try to get that out, mess around with it for a little bit. Maybe I won't even mess around with it. Actually, maybe I'll do a, since keep it totally genuine, maybe I'll break it out and just demo it right off the spot and figure it out. What do you think? Should I, should I mess around and demo it or should I take it out of the box and just demo it pure? So I'm learning it as I'm demoing it. What do you think? Let me know. But either way, I'm going to get that demo done. And then I'm going to, maybe I'll get the raffle going. Because don't forget, when you watch the demo of the Behringer Wasp, you're going to have to find that little password riddle in there and throw it in an email to me and I'll enter you in the raffle. So learn as you go. I'm thinking I'll do that too. It's more exciting. It's more uh, spontaneous. You kind of get to feel how it goes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to learn as I go. So I'll open it up, break it out, turn on the camera <clears throat> once I get it hooked up. And then we'll have some fun with it. I'll put some pedals on it so we can get some ambiance to it and not just the, I'll do the dry sounds for a bit and then we'll roll over, put it through the pedals to see what it sounds like with some effects. But don't forget, if you guys want to win that raffle, it's free, it's, fuck, it's, it's sorry for my language, it's free. I'm pumped up because it's Christmas. It's free, you gotta find a little riddle or a code. I'm not even telling you what I'm putting in there, but it's gonna be in there. You might have to stop the video, write it down, something like that, because you know what? If you if you don't got what it takes to do that, then yeah, maybe, maybe you shouldn't be winning the wasp. I won't make it too hard, but I'll make it I'll make it hard enough, right? And then you'll get it. So that's it. That's the wasp. And then uh, yeah, that's it. So you guys got any questions before I take off? Far away. We got a smooth little drive here. It's a beautiful day. Hit me with any questions you got. And uh, as for the trolls yesterday, we had a little we had a little issue with the trolls, and we had a lot of people say. Samurai, go to battle, man. Synth war style. Sweet, a little effort never killed anyone. Yeah, 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 that's right. Little effort never killed anyone is right, man. Yeah, we had a little battle with the trolls yesterday, and uh, a lot of people were like, let's get these synth wars going and, and up the drama. But you know what? I don't want to up the drama because I want to keep the vibes fresh and clean. I want to... And listen, I didn't even throw the first shot old troll king threw the first shot troll king threw the first shot at me and i'm not the kind of guy that lets things like that slide but my uh sensei let's just call him he's been mentoring me and he's told me you know for one don't feed the trolls which is fine but trolls got to eat too and then he also said just do your thing man keep it real you don't need to be what'd they say if you get if don't uh, don't try to throw mud at a pig or something. Now, is that the expression or whatever? Or don't put lipstick on a pig or don't put lipstick on a pig while he's playing in the mud and you're throwing mud at him, something like that. Anyway, anyway something like that saying, but yeah. So that's the trolls. We're done with them. We're gonna let them exist. And if they wanna float around, they can float around. I might make a t-shirt about it or something like that. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. 
So that's it, boys. I think that's the stream for today. I'm just going to finish my coffee, get home now, and I'm excited. I might even make a couple more videos and just schedule them for over Christmas break. Maybe I'll get home today. Pearls to pigs. Yeah, pearls to pigs are wasted. I like that. Don't throw pearls before swine or something. I like that, yeah. So I'll get home, I'll pop three videos out. One person asked me to make a video about a Behringer Victor, the, uh, the uh, Profit VS module that came out. So I'll do a video about that, I think. And then I'm gonna do a video of probably the best synthesizers of 2023. I think uh, I, I ran into a couple people's opinions on that, I'll do that. And then I'll do my demo video. So I, I'll knock three out today. Samurai can knock three out, no problem, baby. So anyways, thanks for joining me for that synth show. Uh, you guys take it easy, have a Merry Christmas, and we'll catch, don't forget to enter the raffle. Shoo, shoo!